this one before, but we did it as a team, and we may or may not have had Otto there who had some super dinos. Oh, he's kind of huge. Oh, we kind of don't do as much damage as I had hoped. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. What's going on, guys? TVF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode today. We're jumping back into Arc Elemental, Elemental Arc, and Arc Reclamation on the Valgaro map. Exciting to get going today. We've got a couple things planned out. First off, it's been a few days since the last video. I know we had about, oh man, I don't even know, maybe a week since the last video. And that's because we had to finish out our other series. And we're going to go primarily with this one for the next five or six days. Kind of see how it goes and see if we can get us some more stuff. Now, I'm going to delete, I've recorded like six or seven videos, and I'm going to go ahead and delete those and then kind of show you the progress that we've made in there and then kind of just jump further into things and try to get as far as we can in this mod. I don't know if we're going to have a chance to finish it out, but I'm definitely going to try to get as far as we can. First off, we got some cool gif gifts from the community that I got to show you guys. We're going to get those out in just a second. I got some stuff going on up here. I don't know if I even showed this to you guys. We did go ahead and get some of the elemental arc uh, berries and different things made up. We have lightning stem berries over here. We've got, what is this one? This is the uh, ice grass. So each one has, they have their own stuff for this. I think it's really cool. And it's made for some of the crafting recipes. So we'll get into that eventually. Uh, we also got a few more of the light pets. I think, I can't remember how many we had last time we hang, hung out with you guys. But now I've got, I've got three of the pugs and two of the moss lights or not moss lights, but I got one moss light and one storm light of the avians. Very, very cool. We've got all of the Jerboas that you need, the different elemental ones, and they're all crafting up their elemental stuff. They're making the stone essence uh, and then the different luminescent stuff that they're pulling from the different light animals. So we're doing really good there. Super, super excited about that because it means we're making some good progress. We've been doing a bunch of breeding. What are you? No, oh, good. Hold on. Let me get rid of this guy real quick. We've got a... Is our griffin good level? I don't remember which griffin we have on us. Let's go... Okay, I couldn't remember if <laughs> Ice and Lightning was a good matchup, but we've been breeding Griffins like crazy, and I've been breeding Carnos like crazy. I'm finding that those are two of the best dinos for the early boss fights, the, the ones that we did with you guys, the Jerboas. And we did a couple others without you, but we've done each one of the Jerboas, the Incarnates is what they're called. It's where you fight a giant Jerboa, and then it gives you a little summons, which gives you the little guys. So you got to beat the big one to get the little one, and then those guys create the stuff. And then we're going to use that to go in here... And make the next step, which is, is it on this one? We go in here, summoners, and I think, is it, the Avenger is the next one. We have enough to do these right now. And we might do these in the next couple of episodes. So we have Stone Avenger, we have Nature Avenger. You just kind of go down the list and you get each one of those. And then when you defeat that, you get something cool out of that. So we'll get into that here really, really shortly. I can't wait to show you guys that. But today I want to give you a quick update on some of the cool dinos that we have. Let me show you these guys. We've got so many cool things. First off, you can see our passive generation in here. We've got the Luxpred Toxin, which is made to, it's to make some really cool stuff. We've got the Metal Chunk. We've got the Element Chunk. Those things are from this thing called a slag. Check this guy out. So we have these guys called slags. I have an element slag, and I have a metal slag. I think that's the only ones that I have. That is right, right? Yep, okay, so we have the slags, and then we have the lux preds. I couldn't put them out a minute ago, but I'm going to see if we can throw them out real quick. And then we have the rhea. This is the coolest one. All right, we'll just break out the rhea's real quick. And then what was the other one? We've already got Pyjax, Lutra Campus. Oh, Aegisaurus. We've got the Aegisaurus now. And, in fact, you know what? It should be at the bottom of the thing down here. Let me see. There we go. There we go. We've got a uh, gotcha that we got from Crazy Hermit. Thank you, Crazy Hermit. And then these other guys are all from La Shasta. Thank you, thank you. And, of course, we got the really cool stuff from Crazy Gamer M last week. So, lots of cool stuff that we've gotten from people. I really appreciate it. All right, so here's what we got. We got the, These are from, we're going to focus mainly on the Reclamation mod right now. This is the Slags. You can find these guys around the map. Now, because we're using these two mods together, they've been, these guys have been really hard to find. Uh, we've been looking for them a lot, and they just don't pop up very often, so they're hard to find. But these are Slags. These are the Reclamation mod's little snails. So this guy crafts me, or makes metal as he moves around, and this guy makes element as he moves around. So I, in my opinion... We have the two most important ones. Those two are amazing. And there's a few other ones out there. I think there's a stone slag. There's all kinds of different ones. They're really, really cool. Next one is the Luxpred. I couldn't get this guy to pop out earlier. Yeah, it says that he's in a bad zone. Do we have to throw him out in water? It might be. It, it might be. He might be like a, a weird aggressive dino, so not a problem there. So we'll move through Luxpred. It's basically a jellyfish that can fly around. Next one is the Rhea. We've got a few different Rhea's, all right? 
Uh, let's leave him inside right now. This is the regular one. Is this a regular Rhea? So the Rhea is the Griffin equivalent for the Reclamation mod. They're pretty cool. They, they've, they're a slightly different model, but they've got a really cool function that I'm going to show you inside here. Check this out. It has an egg system. You go in here, you go eggs, and then you can go vanilla. You can use any egg from any dino to make a fertilized egg. It's really, really cool. Do we have any unfertilized eggs? If we do, we'll grab them real quick. Check this out. So you go in here. No, no. This one. This one, yeah. All right, do we have any eggs that are unfertilized? No, that doesn't help. All right, eggs. Okay, so a dodo egg. I don't know if dodo is one of the ones that will work, but we'll try it real quick. Let me check over here. What kind of eggs we got in here? Nothing and nothing. That's unfortunate. I thought maybe we'd have a couple things in here. Okay, there's all our vegetables and stuff. Take this milk. All right, I'm not seeing any, but that's okay. So uh, I guess we could check inside of there, but that's fine. All right, so you take an egg. We'll try this dodo. I don't know if the dodo one works, but we'll put a dodo egg on there like so. And then we'll go here, vanilla. Is there a dodo? There is. So check this out. So depending on what egg you have, you go down here, you click it, and then bam, it's going to make a dodo, a fertilized dodo egg. That's, that's it. Mix fertilized dodo egg. How cool is that? Uh, what is this one? Oh, hold on. There's a couple different versions here. Oh, there's a few different versions. Fertilized aberrant dodo. Fertilized dodo. Okay. Okay, okay. So there's two different versions. Which one do we do? We did an aberrant dodo and a regular dodo. There we go. And it pops out a random level. So it's kind of luck of the draw. It's a little bit of RNG here. You might get lucky and get an amazing level or you might get a level 5. We just got a 180, so that's kind of cool. There you go. There's a 180. Okay. Can I not grab it? There we go. So there we go. We got a 180 and a 145 for the two different dodos. Now we have fertilized dodo eggs. We can pop out some dodos. That's just kind of how that works. I think it is really, really cool. Uh, so you can basically do passive generation of eggs, and then you can go over here and make this thing. So this Rhea is pretty much the key to unlocking everything. It's passive tame at like level 85, but you can knock it out. It's really hard to knock out, uh, but it was definitely worthwhile. But here's the biggest and best thing that this does. This is super cool. Check this out. You can make more Rayas with it. So you passive generation or you just wait for it to get 50 spoiled eggs. This is what it makes over time. So we take 50 of these eggs and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five of these, right? So let's do five. And we're going to make one of each one of these. The first one is the golden Raya. Second one is the golden scorched Raya. Third one is the aberrant. Fourth is the corrupted. And fifth is the golden lunar. Really, really cool. I think we can also do, I think slag is in here. Let's go slag. So we can make these other slags. We have, uh, what is this one? Revitalized sand slag, ore slag, obsidian slag, metal, lunar, element, corrupted, and stone. So we might try to do one of each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try this. Eight different slags. Oh, I hold on. I know we have it in there. I saw it. Let's grab it real quick. Maybe it just can't pull it. Hold on. Slag. Oh, you need the specific type. So I can make more of the element or I can make more of the slag, but I can't make. Let's put it over there and see. So I think I can only make the like type of slags. Oh, man, that's too bad. That's, that makes sense, though. It would be really cheaty if we could do it the other way, I guess. All right, so let's go slag. Yeah, so I can only make e either one of those two. Okay, so that's too easy. So now we know on that. All right, let's go ahead and get those Rhea eggs. There we go. And I'll check the levels real quick. I, I don't think they were very good levels, but we'll check on them in just a second. So we have a 120, a 190, nice, 150. A 75 and a 155. It's not super important, but at, you know that'll affect like their damage and stuff like that. If you try to use it as like a damage deal or anything like that, let's go ahead and put our eggs in there. All right, I'm gonna put my slag stuff back over here. Let's go ahead and while we're waiting on those eggs to incubate, let's run back over here, and we're gonna go ahead and check out the other dinos here. So we've got the Aegisaurus. We've had one of these before, but let's go ahead and pop pop these guys out. So there's the Aegisaurus. And then we've got the Ditetras. There you go. Really, really cool. So you can see the Ditetra with the horns and the Aegisaurus with the giant 
uh, one horn. Someone told me what the what the actual name for them is. I, I can't remember why it was called Age of Ceres, but it was a really good theory of why it is. But yeah, I think they look pretty amazing. But there you go. There's there's the different guys here. The do they, any of them has saddles? We need saddles for them in order to kind of test them out. But they're really cool. They have a little effect on them. Let's see. Hold on. Right click. No. C button. There it is. So this guy, if I remember right, knocks things out. Let's go test it. Hopefully not lose our guy. I'll be super sad. We should have probably made babies before we tested this, but it's all right. Here you go. We'll test it on these guys. There you go. I like it so. All right. Is it working? Yeah, there you go. You can see the, the torpor flying up on that guy. Really amazing. All right. Water Spino. We could probably knock him out, but we're not going to mess with it right now. But yeah, there you go. They, they knock things out as we kind of run around. It's just really cool. <laughs> there you go. So it does a decent amount of torpor. It's not like super OP, but it's definitely enough to make it worthwhile. And he does gather, of course. He's got right click, left click. He's got an X. Uh, looks like X or C. No. X does the little spray. Okay. Very, very cool. Definitely a fan of this guy. Plus, I've always liked trikes. So these are just a, a new version of a trike. Really, really cool. All right. So let's go ahead and pick you up. Pick you up. Pick you up, pick you up. Those guys do like the little shield beam. That's really cool too. Uh, I think that's the main stuff there. So there you go. Kind of a kind of a, a different video. We're doing just a little bit of an update video, showing you a few things within the reclamation mod. We've gotten a little bit further into it. Of course, we have our capus. We have our pie jacks. Pie jacks make up the milk for us. Super awesome. Capus. Do, we, do you guys make anything? I can't remember if they make anything. I just like the capus. They look amazing. I don't have a seafaring capu yet, which is the water version of it. All right. Let me see. We need those Rhea eggs. You guys ready to hatch? Yes, indeed. All right, wait for these guys to hatch. And we'll see what these guys look like. Oh, I think we got twins. All right, and they'll pop out adults because there's no baby version of the of these guys. So they will pop out as adults real quick. All right, so baby Rhea. All right, here we go. There's a regular one, I think, right? I think so. This one is the Scorched, the Aberrant. Let's scoot back here. All right, this one is the Corrupted. It looks like we got two of the Corrupteds. Then a Lunar. And that's it. There you go. All right, let's check these guys out. So you have this first one is the Aberrant. It looks really cool. It has like the blue. It's got like a little mist coming off of it. it looks pretty amazing. Do they have any special attacks or anything? I don't think they do, but we'll test it just in case. All right, let me see if they do anything. we got to be careful because they are susceptible to the elemental arc elements, so there's a good chance that they're going to stomp our face. But does it do any kind of effect? Oh, but we're taking the ice effect, but yeah. Uh, I don't think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. But there you go. These guys look pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and land. Yeah, there's the corrupted one. Looks amazing. And then the second one is the scorched. Oh, does he do fire damage? If so, that'd be awesome. Let's attack something that's not going to ice attack us, like this poor RG over here. Uh, well, we do a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. And I'm pretty sure it did fire damage before I ate his face so quickly. There we go. Uh, no, it's doing the dashed. It's not doing anything else. The other buttons don't seem to work. CNX, no. Control, no. Oh, nope. My bad. I threw my light pit. Come back, buddy. I'm sorry. It's a good thing you can fly. All right. So there you go. The the difference Ray is here. This is the Scorched one. Really cool. This looks like an offensive juggernaut. I think he'd be pretty powerful if we played with him for a while. All right. So there's that. This must be just the regular version, right? Level 120. Very cool. Next one is the... Oh, that's the regular one again. That is the Corrupted one. Look at the this guy. He looks pretty amazing. We'll have to make sure we get a good screenshot of these guys. But the Corrupted... Both really bad levels, but really cool. And then the Lunar 155 has like that angelic look to it. Very, very cool. So there you go. Kind of Like I said, kind of a long intro, guys. Sorry to take so long on that. We're going to go around and look for a few more things within the Corrupted mod. Oh, also, you know what we did have? It's probably gone now. At one time, we had a Blazon Wing Rex egg. Let me see if that's still a thing. Well, let's go in here. Eggs. Vanilla. No, no, not vanilla. What is it? Blazon. 
Solid spelling. Blazon. There we go. We had an egg for this guy. There it is. <gasps> we have it. So we have a egg that we got dropped from the Blazon Wing Rex. We click that. And that crafts that up slowly. I don't think I've seen any of these other guys. Have I? No. That's a Dota Reaper. No. Vastoranus. No. So this will give us a fertilized version of the Blazing Wing Rex, which is really cool. And yeah, we're going to have to do Reclamation in a future playthrough again because the unfortunate part with this is they don't do real well against the Elemental guys because the Elemental guys do the crazy Elemental damage. So it does make it just a little bit difficult to really get anything done with them uh, because you, know, you take all that ice or that fire damage and your dino ends up dying way, way too quick. But all right, guys, there you go. Long, long intro. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, all those kind of things. Let's go get into a couple things before we end the episode. I want to make sure we go out and kind of search out what's out there. Maybe look for some of the shinies. Any good shinies on the map? Ooh, there are. A stone capro, ice anki, lightning griffin, and a nature RG. All right, we're going to go ahead and do one thing. I'm going to go ahead and do one Avenger fight. I don't know how well it'll go, but I do have like an army of uh carnos to come up here pretty soon so i'm gonna hatch all of these guys and see what they come out to level wise we'll leave them in here to grow up and everything but we'll see what kind of levels we get out of this hopefully i've got plenty of soul balls in there there we go a few more and bam all right let's see what kind of levels we got out of these ones should be pretty good i see some 230s in there 234 did i get any 240s 240 Oh, uh, no, 224, 224, 224, 224. So it looks like 230 is the highest. So let's see, 238, nice. So 238 male is better than the 232 male for sure. Okay, two, let's get that guy. Let's keep that guy. And then 237, six, a couple of 236 males. Okay, 234, a couple of 234 females. What are these guys? 234, 230, 227. 21, 15, definitely some upgrades. Very nice. 32 can go back in there. All right, there you go. That gives us a few Carnos. Let's go do our first Avenger fight solo. Now, what I'm going to do, here's what we're going to do for this, is I'm going to see if I can find the clip from me and Taru fighting this. So I'm going to show you the next two or three battles of the Avenger fights, and then we'll see what we get out of it at the end of it. So let's go ahead and go Avenger fight, depending on which one we can do. Summon, Avenger. I mean, uh, what do we have? We have Stone Carnos, and let's look this up from the chart real quick. We do have a really handy dandy chart that I need to start using more, but uh, I like to just go to the website for it, the elementalarc.net. We go there, we go ahead and click which element it is that we're trying to use that day, and they are strong against lightning or fire. So let's check out the lightning or fire. Lightning, can we do it? We can. Bam, lightning and fire. Okay, we can do both those. I oh, mean, now we might not beat this. We might get whooped. So we'll just have to see what happens. I've got our little army of Carnos that we're going to take with us. And let's go out to our little area out here. Make sure we're all milked up here. Oh, let's throw our light pet in here. I don't want to lose our light pet. So let's leave our light pet inside here. Now, this doesn't eliminate the fact that you still need to... Oh, why didn't our water refill? There we go. This doesn't eliminate the fact that you still have to go around and get the Jerboa skulls and the... The different stuff for the light pets, not so much Draboa skulls, but the lantern stuff from the different lantern pets that you have to go out and eat. But uh, we'll, we'll worry about that here in a little bit. So let's go out to the boss fight spot. Down here, boss fight. And let's see. Hopefully this is going to go well. I haven't been out, been out here in a minute. All right. Let's go ahead and throw down. Let's throw down the Carnos first. So Carno. Make sure they're all together. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, come on, pick him up. All right, Carno. And then we're going to go get saddles for him real quick. I didn't even think about that. We need saddles. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, stone Carno's looking kind of tough. 227, 221, 215, and 232. Let's get saddles for him. Now, the nice thing is we can get saddles off of the... The eco bench, and the really cool thing about that is you can get a really high ascendant one. And if it's not a very high one, we've talked about this in the past, you can pick it up and put it down, and then it is a it, it'll be a different level. So let me show you this. So it's at a random level, right? Carno is right now a 107 armor. That's not great. So what we'll do 
is we'll pick up the bench, all right, and then we'll put it back down, put that thing back where it came from, all right, oh, and then we'll go Cardo again, and now we have a 266, much, much, much better. Uh, so we need to make four of these, and then we'll see if we have enough to make four of these. We might not because it takes Sarkosuka skin, metal, and hide, and I don't know how our supplies are doing right now. I have enough for one. So it looks like one of you is getting a good armor, and then the other ones are getting the starter armor. That's fine. <laughs> that is just fine. Uh, we're probably going to lose this fight anyways, but we still want to try it. All right, let's go back. Okay, back to the last remote. We'll throw these saddles on. We'll throw down the little summoner thing, and we should be good, and I'll level them up real quick uh, before we get started. Where are we at? All right, so we're going to go damage, damage, damage. I know we should pump uh, health or something like that, but we're good. We're going to go glass cannons like crazy. I just need him to do lots of damage. There you go, 227. And so these ones have a lot more levels. Nice. Okay, 253. He's got some decent damage on those two. So we're going to ride the 253. So saddle. You get the big bad saddle. You get the next saddles. Oops. Saddle. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Everybody's got a saddle. Let's put the Avenger Summoner down. We'll go with uh, Fire first. Here we go. Fire Summoner. One minute. Oh, God. We're still going to die. All right. Let's get on the other side here. All right. Wish me luck. Check out these saddles. If you guys have never seen this saddle, this is part of the Eco Primordial saddle. It's really cool. Each one of them gets like a different thing that would be, you know, uh, more of like an aberration type thing is what I always think of it like. But it's the Primordial is what it is. It's the, uh, I don't know, it's just really cool looking. Each one gets their own little special effects. The Tyrandons have like this uh, Tropo one that gives them a little starry effect. Pretty amazing. All right. And it gives you a effect too. You are hidden from most wild cave creatures unless you attack or dismount. Very, very cool. I think that's pretty much it. Cave camo, yeah. So it's called cave camo. <laughs> All right, how much time we got? 14 seconds. Let's do this. So here you go. First Avenger fight solo. This should go fine. If this goes super south, if it goes really, really badly, I'll show you the version that me and Taru took on because we have beaten this one before, but we did it as a team, and we may or may not have had Otto there who had some super dinos. Oh, he's kind of huge. Oh, we kind of don't do as much damage as I had hoped. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Ow. Well, all right. He does a lot. Oh, this is a kind of a brutal battle. All right, Cardinals are amazing, but they don't... That that knockback makes it a little rough. There we go. Oh, God, we're going to die. Oh, we're already halfway. Okay. Oh, we're definitely going to die. If, if we're about to die, these other guys are in way trouble, right? We're about halfway. Oh, God, where's he going? He's at 108,000. Oh, my God, it's over. Oh, my God, it's over. <laughs> all right, all right. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my God. No, 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 that's not good. Oh, great. 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 Extra people jumping in. Okay. He's at health. I'm at, he at half health. We're all at half health. Oh, it's over. Oh, guys, we're losing. Okay. It's okay. The knockback helps. The knockback helps, but it's just not enough. Okay. No, death is coming. Death is coming. No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It's about to be over. We're so fast, though. Well, until we poop. Dang it. Stopping to poop. You never stop to poop. Okay. <laughs> We're nowhere even close, guys. Dang. Okay. Do you think we can escape? Maybe we can escape. We can't escape. Okay. Get against the wall. Get against the wall. Go, 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 go. Teleport. 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 Ah! <laughs> we did not teleport quick enough. Oh, we got wrecked. Oh, that was all the wrecking. All of the wreckage. It's a good thing we're not doing a death counter on this season because, whew, it'd be it'd be honestly kind of brutal. All right, um, let's see. Let's regather our stuff. Let's cry a little bit about the loss. 
Okay, retrieve corpse. All right, let me see if I have a leveled up stone Carno we can take. Hold on, let's go in here. Carno, no. Okay, how about in this one? Carno, 217, 228, 231, and 217, no. We've got to have one Carno that's like leveled up. 106, no. 232, maybe? Maybe one of these two will. And we'll get another saddle. Can I make one more saddle, guys, please? Carno. We'll just do the basic saddle and we'll go with that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, hopefully he's still there. If he's healed all the way up, then we got no chance. We're not even going to try. All right. Carno. Bam. How many levels you got? Six. How many levels do you have? 26. All right. Let's get you just a few more points into health. All melee. And then we'll go all melee on you. We'll give you some pie jack milk. Like this. Oh, come on. Bam! Heal up, buddy. There he goes. He's healing up. He'll be healed up in just a second. All right. And we're going to throw a saddle on you. The other guy, sorry you don't get a saddle. I don't have time to make another one right now. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, in and adventure boss fight. All right, hopefully he hasn't disappeared, and hopefully he is not healed. There he is. All right, come here, buddy. We're going to do this. Here we go. So a lot of Carnos were harmed in the making of this video. There we go. Oh, we don't do nearly as much damage with this guy. It's okay. Oh my god, he wrecked so fast. Okay, we do 2,000 per. Just survive, buddy. We have 8,000 health. 39, 36. Oh my god, we're okay. 30,000. 27. Oh, we're so close, guys. We're less than 20. We're so close. 14. Come on, buddy. Don't die. Survive, buddy. Survive. 8,000. 5,000. Oh, come on. One more hit. One more hit. Get him. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So you get an egg out of it. Check it out. So we've got an egg. Bam. Fertilized fire hatchling. All right. Oh, my God. We barely survived that. How much health did you have left, buddy? 1,000. So basically 1,000 health left. All right. You get a dragon chibi for that. Let me show you the dragon chibi real quick. Really, really cool. Uh, we also got a couple of these from our good friend, Miss Janet. Thank you so much for that. And so this is the, the fire dragon chibi. Look at this. Oh, no, it's, sorry, stone. No. Fire. Yeah, fire, right? Chibi vapor. Oh, okay, okay. Very, very, very cool. All right. Oh, we got a level two. All right. There you go. 25 years later, we are finally high enough level to make a, uh, what is it called? The, can I get your saddle, please? Where's your saddle? Oh, no, the saddle. There you go. Uh, yeah, we're finally high enough level to make the Uterana stuff. <laughs> there we go. Get that back. I'm going to see if I can find the other saddles. I don't know really where they died. Just in here somewhere. All right, let me look around for just a minute. I'll see if I can get lucky and find them. If not, it's okay. All right, I didn't have any luck finding the saddles. That's okay. Uh, it was not a big deal. They were just vanilla saddles, but we did get the big one back. So we have that one. We'll put that on one of the stone carnos here in a little bit. All right, let me see here. So we have, I'm trying to figure out what we have here. So we have this guy now. We're going to go ahead and put this egg inside of here. All right. And then we have that one that we can pop out. This is that blazing wing rex that we saw earlier. I don't know if they come out as babies or if they come out, oh, this one's already ready to go too. Nice. So let's see. Okay, so we have a fire hatchling and a blazing winged rex from this episode. This would be pretty cool. So the fire hatchling first. Here you go. Here's the fire hatchling. Bam. And here's a blazing wing rex. Oh, good. They come out as babies. Nice. There you go. Blazing wing rex from the reclamation mod. What's up, little buddy? Looking kind of amazing. It's a 307. Look at that level. Awesome. And this guy is a baby fire hatchling. 
it's going to stay this size. It's really cool. It doesn't get much bigger than this at first, and then it goes through stages. And we're going to figure out how that works together. We'll mess with this as we go. Let's go ahead and put these guys away. I think we're going to end it there. Kind of a successful episode. Oh, we're standing a little bit naked. Sorry. There you go. We're not naked. We have shoes on. <laughs> Is that all? Do we not? Do we really not have anything? I have no clothes. All right. So we'll just do a close-up intro. Try not to look down. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for checking today's video out. Like, comment, subscribe, all those kind of things. We'll get back into some more Elemental Arc. We'll make some progress through this. I'm going to fight all the Avengers with you guys. And then we'll move on to the next tier really, really soon. We'll be getting into the spider stuff and making of some more really cool things within the mod. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for the support. Huge shout out to the patrons. Huge shout out to you for making it this far into the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.